Hi, I'm Soji Otuyelu. I'm, I'm an artist in York, Pennsylvania. I write music, I perform music, I write poetry, and I dabble in theater. And I love to perform for people. I like to inspire people with my art. Nobody like you and I need. I need your pain. Well, we'll start with music. Music was the first way I um, used to really not connect with people, but connect with myself. Um, I started writing songs at, at an early age. I, for whatever reason, would uh, have melodies stick in my head. And I had, um, um, you know, it was a great way to sort of just keep writing, to come up with some sort of expression. And, whether it was expressing my own thoughts or the thoughts of someone else, it always felt good to um, put words on paper and sort of um, melodically present them mostly to myself. I, don't, I didn't have much of an audience when I first started, and most times I don't now. Um, but I enjoyed the, the, um, the process of uh, putting you know, words stylistically to music. I'm just like the other guys met before. That extends itself to theater as well. The idea of being on stage is one that's very freeing to me because I don't even have to be myself at all, right? I just completely envelop a different character and try to be uh, honest within that character and try to show an audience um, reveal the the intentions and um and and the soul of a person just with my uh with my performances on stage so i enjoy that a lot i remember um performing very young with my sisters and my cousins um we were the youngest of the of the cousins and um we would be paraded in front of uncles and aunts to uh, do certain things, dances that we came up with or whatever, um, at different functions, and um, and then I remember going. My my mother um, putting us in uh, like a like a sort of theater school <laughs> for the summer um, um, when I was when I was really young. I took piano lessons when I was very young. My mom would take us to um, also theater performances at University of Lagos, and I remember those. Um, experiences being, you know, at the time it didn't seem that powerful <clears throat> to me, uh, but what it did feel like was that it was something, it, it felt like so out of the ordinary, so special, and I would look at the people on stage like they were, you know, superheroes because, you know, who would have the um, the courage to to do that and to to express themselves in front of people so um i was sort of drawn to it from that point and as i got older i had opportunities to um uh to to, to do you know theater or, or play music yeah so we're here today doing all kinds of activities we have a new songwriting activity down there where that little fishbowl is where somebody can write a line that they would like to hear in a song and tomorrow one of our local performers, Soji, is going to perform a song written from all of those little elements that the public puts in a little bowl. In these very strange times, we still wear a smile. Now headed home, cause I've been gone, gone for a while. Dancing to free the webs called in my mind Much to do, can think I don't have much time My first um, guitar lesson, you know, this was a free guitar lesson at church when I was 15 and I pretended to play the guitar for a very long time and I had a chance to play and, and, and um, take lessons for about uh, six weeks with a gentleman at the church. And, and I soaked up those six weeks like nothing I've ever um, absorbed in my life. It's allowed me to express myself in so many ways because I know that, um, you know, just having conversations with people, I'm not so, I don't easily do that, but being able to play guitar um, and, 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 and sing, 
um, <clears throat> is is the is the purest form and is the most comfortable form I have to express myself. Working my craft is an interesting thing, right? Because um, there's a saying, you know, all the world's a stage. I don't know if it's Shakespeare or someone, but I, I find myself having to um, embody and be in touch with a, a, a feeling inside of me in daily conversation uh, that I that that almost seems like I'm performing. Not that I'm not my genuine self, but that I am able to really be in touch with a part of myself that I would maybe um, not um, it, it really it just allows me to to be in, in touch with a feeling whether it's anger or or um, or pride or that I, I need to feel as though I'm an expert at something I'm talking about at work um, I really need to be in touch with that part of me and express that uh, to to an audience or to a person, and and so, in some ways, I feel like that's working on my craft because um, I have to be in touch with. I, I have to make a conscious decision to be uh, to to light up a part of me, and um, that's pretty much what I do when I play guitar. God loves a lullaby and a mother's tears and the dead of. Better than a hallelujah sometimes When I sing about, you know, heartbreak or falling in love or, or um, you know, it's just, it's just uh, making that conscious decision and, and um, I do that a lot throughout my day. How often, uh, how much time I spend doing it, I don't know, but I know I do that a lot. Thrills me that's the way to happen. I often don't set out to uh, influence the community. I, it, when I first started playing music, um, which is my most uh, common form of creativity, um, it was for me. Uh, I, I mean, just playing for anybody else was a dream. And I remember when I was asked to play, perform at church with, uh, with with the gentleman that was teaching me, I was like, oh my God, this is like, this is like beyond anything I could ever imagine. And then, um, you know, when, when I'm able to play out now, um, you know, 24, 23 years later, it really feels as if I am able to, um, disarm people, whether it's what I look like as I play um, or how I'm delivering the music, I, 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 I want people to feel very comfortable in um, accessing their emotions. Here's a melody, beautiful, unless we are the artist's cry and breaking heart. I made a promise to myself a long time ago that I would not care about making a mistake through the performance or um, being so bogged down about how perfectly it sounded that I I was not present in in um, the feeling I was trying to evoke. And so when I'm singing anywhere, whether it's at church now or on a street corner, I am. Um, putting my full self into it and I hope by doing that other people can feel comfortable um, accessing their emotions and, and, and feeling um, what I'm feeling as well. But someone's excited over me Someone decided I could my nine to five is um, in the healthcare, and um, 
I have many jobs. As a matter of fact, uh, I I I, um, I work as a soccer coach, um, which you know all these things I don't really consider work. Uh, they're things I enjoy doing, um, and you know the same as working on my craft. I don't feel like I'm working on my craft. I just you know I spent probably. 20 minutes playing the drums uh, this afternoon when I got back from work. Uh, I don't know how to play drums that well, but I, I play drums, I, I enjoy it, I'll listen to a beat. And so am I working on it? I suppose so, but really I just enjoy doing these things. Um, and, and, and um, you know, there might be, is it, is it hard to do it sometimes? Yes. Um, but without it, um, I, I feel like there is something missing in me. I have many friends that I started playing music with, and then you know they went through the same stages of life that I did, and got married, had kids, and then probably put their guitars away. Um, I have a guitar on me all the time because it, it's sort of therapy for me too, right? It's it's a way that <clears throat> I can um, I can express myself most comfortably. So if I don't do that, it's uh, I'm hurting myself, really. I'm not prettier than most. I don't have any professional goals as it relates to being a musician or whatever. Uh, but I do, well, I'll have like small goals here and there, right? And well, what I'll say one that I've been thinking about is um, r r playing music um, for couples when you know as as valentine's approaches um you know dedicating s certain songs to people uh, as as couples can couples can dedicate songs to each other and i'll record it for them and um and and use um you know at a at a fee and use that money to um um to to support a, a non-profit in york so it's something i've been thinking about this is the dark A lot of times I'm inspired by other people's art and other people's stories. It's hard for me to sit through a movie without thinking of the perfect score that would go with what's happening in the movie or, or how I would have delivered that line. I, I am inspired by other people's arts, but but also, you know, when, when people share emotions with me of something that they're going through, um, it oftentimes will turn into a song, whether I tell it to them or not. This is a dark, dark, dark.